recently I got to take a kid to the fire station and his mom was like, I don't know what you did to him, but he has changed his whole perspective about life. So just hearing that little stories and just, just seeing the growth of them, all the success stories for them. There's a gentleman that I helped a lot with last year. And when I sat him down in my office and he sat on my couch, he was very one word, two word response to everything. I could tell he really didn't want to be there. And I started explaining to him the process of going to college and the money that he would potentially have to go to college at that time. And I just said, Garrett, you'll have around this much money to go to college. And his eyes got real big. And I said, did you not even think about that? And he said, I just didn't think I could afford it. We start looking at Murray State, UT Martin, Jackson State, Bethel. He had actually had an offer from Bethel University to, to be on their bass fishing team. It was a really good offer, but at the same time, looking at overall aid, um, we looked at Martin and Martin ended up being the better of the deal. Fast forward to this year, his mom and dad served on my, served on my steering committee meeting. And without me even knowing about it, up until they made the comment, they, they looked right at me and looked right at my principal and said, Garrett would have never went to college if it wasn't for, for him talking about me. He wasn't considering it, he wasn't thinking about it. The boy had planned on just going to get a job living in our house and now he's at UT Martin doing better in college than he did in high school um, and, and really enjoying it. One of my students, an athlete, wound up having a, a good year and all of a sudden he got on the radar some colleges, but it was right at the end of October. Thankfully, got him Tennessee Promise eligible in plenty of time but because of being a Board of Regents school, had to scramble to get him eligible UT Promise. And just working with him, working with their family, filed the FAFSA and came in during spring break and worked with mom and, and her son and got him Pell eligible and had written some letters of recommendation for he and some others that will make a difference. It was like the first month I was with the seniors and I'm doing college planning and I had asked the kid, I was like, what did you make on your ACT? Because he said he was just gonna go work at Teledyne, which is where his mom worked. So that's all he knew. He said, I made a 29. I looked at him, I said, on your first time? He said, yeah. I said, you're not working at Teledyne. That's a safety net. We're gonna get you into college somewhere. And he was like, oh, no one's ever put that perspective into myself. So he went from wanting to work in the factory to applying for college and then he got into the, the 30 plus club because he made a super score. I won't name her, however, we'll just call her H. Miss H um, was homeless every year since I met her. Um, and when I first met her, she really just did not have a plan for the future. She wanted to drop out of school. Of course, I spoke with the counselor and we got together and moving forward, we just made sure that she had everything that she needed. Um, we made sure that she had somewhere to stay, contacting a relative. And by the time she got to her senior year, we made sure that she had everything that she needed as pertaining to her senior year to be successful, double back, making sure that she had all of her credits so we wouldn't have any issues with graduation and now she is a successful student in a nursing program at an HBCU. The second success story was a young man that I met at Paris Island, South Carolina by complete accident. Didn't even know that one of our recent graduates was there finishing up boot camp. So it was worked out where I was able to surprise him and have lunch with him the very last week. He was there right before he graduated. And when I asked him, you know, what made him join the Marines? Because when I met with him, he was planning to go to college. And he said, well, it was you. And I said, what do you mean it was me? And he said, well, you always said, you know, if you're gonna go into something, make sure your heart's 100% in it. He said, and the major that I was looking at, I just really wasn't sold on it. He said, and you always talk about having a backup plan. And we briefly talked about the service. So I remembered what you said and I joined the service. So I actually got to see him graduate Marine Boot Camp in Paris Island here recently. A success story. Uh, this will happen to be one of our class of 23 graduates who will be a cohort of Europe. Uh, typically a challenging student throughout his school career. However, the light bulb came on during his senior year. So he decided to leave West Tennessee and move to or migrate to Middle Tennessee to attend National State and study diesel mechanics. 
So I saw the student back in March. He's still in the program and he will graduate in December from the program with a certification in diesel mechanics. So super, super proud of the student. I have one senior girl who will, if not have her associate's degree, by the time she graduates, she will be only one or two courses away from it. She's taken um, an impressive number of dual enrollment courses as a high school student. I'm very happy for her. And then she'll just pick up and continue on from there. So she'll have a really strong head start. Um, our valedictorian is headed to Rhodes with, if I'm not mistaken, an athletic scholarship, if they're allowed to give those. Some colleges have to call them, or universities have to call them academic scholarships, but they happen to coincidentally play a sport. Our salutatorian is determined to go to the University of Missouri in St. Louis. He's at one point lived in St. Louis and he's always dreamed of going back there to go to college. So I think it's going to happen. We had a Zoom meeting uh, Monday with um, his admissions counselor there and he has everything lined up. So I'm, I'm pleased with all the ones that seem to have a very determined path that they're going to follow and it, it looks as if the doors are open.